Got some uh, chicken and onion kebabs and some bacon wrapped baked potatoes. Inside, you're cruising comfort. But outside, it's a different and dangerous story. This is an all too frequent reality for Utah pets. Yeah, the, the video just made your heart stop. A flatbed truck flying down the highway at 70 miles per hour while a dog tries to balance unrestrained in the back. The first thing you think is, oh my gosh, that poor dog. Utah Humane Society posted this video taken along I-15 to their Facebook page. Not only is it completely dangerous for the animal, but also for the other motorists driving around. The for some, it's hard to watch. But despite comments expressing frustration and disgust, this isn't illegal. There's nothing to do. It can't be reported to the authorities. In fact, the only way an owner can face charges is if the animal dies or is injured in an accident while unrestrained. You know, we've worked on legislation in the past. It's a very difficult thing. We were not able to pass this as a law. Salt Lake County is one outlier stating animals must be restrained. Still, it's largely unenforced. We get calls, we get people contacting us. They've seen an animal riding in the back of a truck bed and they're very concerned. All we can do is just say it's legislation we want to pass. In extreme circumstances like this, the animals can and have wound up here. We see animals, unfortunately, that are surrendered to us that have fallen out of the back of truck beds and broken their leg and then the owners can't afford you know, the medical attention for that pet. Deanne says it's a scary reality. They could jump off, they could fall off, even if they're tied up by a leash and either being dragged or choked by that leash is, is just as terrifying. But it's one that can change. So many families consider pets members of their family. We realized how dangerous that was for children. It's the same case for your pets.